Here are some facts that could save your life. Stuck in quicksand? Don't panic. Lie down and spread your weight. You'll float on the surface. Bitten by a snake? Don't suck the venom. Apply pressure and immobilize the wound. Get to a hospital as soon as possible. Lost in the woods? Find a stream and follow it downstream. You'll eventually reach civilization. Caught in a rip current? Don't swim against it. Swim parallel to the shore. You'll escape the pull and reach safety. Choking on something? Don't try to cough it out. Lean forward and hit yourself between the shoulder blades. You'll dislodge the object and breathe again. Like, share, and subscribe for more life-saving facts. Here are some facts that could save your life. Car sinking in water? Don't wait. Break the window and escape before it's too late. House smells like fish or rotten eggs? Get out. It could be a gas leak. Bee sting? Remove the stinger by scraping it with a credit card, not tweezers. Attacked by a shark? Punch it in the nose or poke its eyes. Lost in the woods? Moss grows on the north side of trees, helping you find your way. Subscribe and like for more life-saving facts. Here are some facts that could save your life one day. If you're in a forest and everything goes quiet, don't panic. It could mean that there's a predator nearby. Just stay calm and listen carefully. You might hear a twig snap or a growl. Then, you can decide whether to run or hide. If you're trying to save someone's life, don't forget about your own. Always check for danger before you act. You don't want to end up as another victim, do you? Remember, safety first. If you are in a foreign country and need to call for help, but don't know the emergency number, just dial 112. It's the universal emergency number and will connect you to the nearest helpline. If you are bitten by a venomous snake, don't try to suck out the venom or apply a tourniquet. That's a myth, and it could make things worse. Instead, keep the wound below the level of your heart and seek medical attention as soon as possible. The faster you get treatment, the better your chances of survival. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome facts. These facts could save your life one day, so listen. If you're ever trapped in a burning building, don't use the elevator. It could malfunction or stop working due to the fire. Instead, use the stairs and stay as low as possible to avoid smoke inhalation. If you're ever in a car accident and the airbag deploys, don't touch it. It could be very hot and cause burns to your skin. Also, be careful of the dust that comes out of the airbag. It could irritate your eyes, nose, and throat. If you're ever in a situation where you need to perform CPR, but you don't know how, just remember the song Stayin' Alive by the Bee Gees. The tempo of the song matches the ideal rate of chest compressions, which is 100 to 120 per minute. If you're ever bitten by a tick, don't try to pull it out with your fingers or tweezers. Instead, use a cotton ball soaked in liquid soap and gently dab it on the tick. The tick will release its grip and stick to the cotton ball. Please like and subscribe for more like these. What if I told you that crows are smarter than some humans? Don't believe me? Well, watch this and see for yourself. Forget pigeons on wires. The real urban kings have feathers and a brain the size of a walnut. Meet the crows, the Einsteins of the avian world. They can use tools like bending wires or dropping nuts to get food or solve problems. They can communicate with each other and even pass on information and grudges to their offspring. They can recognize individual human faces and remember who has been nice or mean to them. Crows are not just birds, they are feathered geniuses. They have a brain-to-body size ratio comparable to primates, and some researchers have compared their intelligence to that of a seven-year-old child. So, next time you see a crow, don't underestimate it. It might be smarter than you think. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more astonishing facts. What if seven billion people jumped at once? Would we cause a massive earthquake, a giant tsunami, or even change the orbit of the Earth? To answer this question, we need to assume that somehow we can get everyone on Earth to stand together in one place and jump at the same time. That's not easy, but let's pretend we can do it. Now, what would happen? Well, not much actually. The Earth is so big and heavy that our jump would have no effect on its movement. We would barely move it by the width of a hydrogen atom, and it would return to its normal position as soon as we landed. The only thing we would feel is a slight tremor, like a mild earthquake. The force of our jump would create a shockwave that would travel through the ground, but it would fade away quickly. The magnitude of the quake would depend on how synchronized our jump was. Don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Maybe they will join you in the next jump.
The Mayans played a ball game where the captain of the winning team might face a ceremonial beheading. Sounds like a bad deal, right? But for the Mayans, this was a great honor and a way to ensure the regeneration of life. The Mayans ruled over southern Mexico and Central America for more than 2,000 years. They built amazing pyramids, temples, and cities like this one. They were also masters of math, astronomy, writing, and art. They invented zero, made accurate calendars, wrote books with glyphs, and created stunning sculptures, paintings, and jewelry. But the Mayans were not all peaceful. They fought wars, sacrificed humans, and suffered from droughts, diseases, and unrest. They collapsed around 900 AD, but their culture and legacy live on. Subscribe and like for more interesting facts like these. Here are some mind-blowing facts that you won't learn in school. The longest word in English has 189,819 letters and takes about three hours to pronounce. It's the name of a giant protein called Titan, and it's so long that I can't even fit it on the screen. Don't believe me? Just Google it and see for yourself. The world's largest living organism is not a whale, a tree, or even a fungus. It's actually a colony of honey mushrooms in Oregon, USA, that covers an area of 3.8 square miles and is estimated to be 8,650 years old. That's older than the pyramids of Egypt. The world's smallest country, Vatican City, has a population of only about 800 people and covers an area of 0.44 square kilometers. That's smaller than the Pentagon building in the United States. Subscribe and like for more facts like these. Did you know bees have butts? Think bees are all sunshine and rainbows, pollinating flowers and making delicious honey? Think again. Sure, they do all that amazing stuff, but let's not forget about their butts. Yeah, bees have stingers. Everyone knows that. But did you know their stingers are actually attached to their butts? Like, literally their entire butts. So when a bee stings you, it's not just leaving a little needle. It's ripping its whole tail off. Talk about commitment to the cause. So next time you see a bee buzzing around, remember, it's probably just trying to avoid losing its rear end. Show some respect for those brave, butt-sacrificing pollinators. Subscribe and like for more facts like these. Ever imagined a world where minds connect? Elon Musk is on a mission to make it a reality. Shockingly, he's developing Neuralink, a brain-machine interface that could enable direct communication between brains. Picture this. Sharing thoughts, feelings, and information without uttering a single word. It's not just futuristic. It's Elon's bold attempt to revolutionize how we connect as a species. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and dive deep into the cosmos of innovation.